hello everyone welcome to such a line academy this is a good today team i'm just going to take you through uh, object oriented programming course using java programming language in this course team you're going to learn a lot but firstly you're just going to learn the java programming language and then later on we do the object oriented programming concept using java so you need first to learn java so that since it is the language which you are going to use to apply this concept so if you are new to this channel considering clicking the subscribe button below and also give some thumbs to this video so that this channel will also develop so team uh, to those who do not know me i'm a lecturer at zimbabwe university and i'm actually teaching uh, this course so this is like an extension from our class that we'll be actually doing so in this course i'm just going to do a playlist of these videos i'm just going to do a playlist so the playlist will be comprising of the java programming language itself so you're going to learn java as a beginner from uh, what is java why do we need java and up to own to the variables going to we do the object oriented programming concept so consider subscribing to this channel also consider saving this uh, playlist so that you can actually watch it because uh, the videos will be longer you cannot finish it within a single day so you consider subscribing turn on the notification bell so that uh, whenever we add new videos you won't be left behind so let's start this video so team uh what is java and why we need it so java is a general purpose computer programming language that is concurrent class-based and object oriented so all these things object oriented class-based concurrent you might not understand it by now but i think you will dive deeper later on but you are just saying this one is a what it's a general purpose uh, computer programming language which means you can apply it uh, maybe be it for web maybe for android application development maybe for desktop applications and also it is a class based which means it uses the concept of classes we are going to discuss about that also it uses the concept of what of objects which is object oriented are going where everything is an object in that language so we are just going to discuss also the, all those things later so it is intended to let application developers write ones run anywhere meaning that compiled java code can run on all platforms that support java without the need for recompilation this one is also the top advantage of why we need java because it supports that on the right ones and you can run it anyway java is platform independent we are just going to talk about this uh, as well so so java is what is is a platform independent language why because it uses the java virtual machine there's what we call a java virtual machine which is a machine that doesn't exist so this jvm or this java virtual machine is the one that runs the compiled code or is the one that mediate between the, the actual machine the operating system as well as the code so if any machine have got the java virtual machine which is the jvm now you can run the what in layman's language you can run the the java code just like that so it also it is an object only programming language why do we need it as well if you look for the other websites other application that were done using java it actually proves that java is this is still the language word to learn like here netflix spotify twitter adobe acrobat reader matlab they were all done using and there are a lot of them they were all done using the java programming language so i think in 2023 yes maybe 2024 or so it's just still the language to learn so how to run java program you want to run the java program how can you run the java program so for you to run the java program first you have to write the java program where do you write the java program so you need to install the integrated development environment which is the one that we call ide maybe in other language you just say the text editor what what blah 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 yeah just like that so here we'll be using the eclipse ide so in this course we'll be using the eclipse ide but they are a lot so you can choose any that you want but here we'll be using 
the Eclipse IDE. Also, you need to install the Java Development Kit. This is what we call the JDK. So this one is now like the compiler. It will have a uh, compiler now, which is the Java Development Kit. So this Java Development Kit is the one that you compile your code into bytecode and then that code is the one that we can actually run anywhere so you want the jdk and then from there you can write your hello world program and run or you can write your program and run so i'm just going to take you through quickly through the steps how you can install the eclipse ide and then how you can install the java uh, development kit so <clears throat> for you first let's start with the java development kit i think this one is the base so for you to do that what you have to do here let me say uh, java uh, development kit let me just search that what you have to do here you have to go to this uh, oracle website after doing that i think the speed depends with your network after that, what you have to choose, there are a lot of, uh, here, there's Java JDK 20, Java JDK 17, uh, but I think the best way is to go for the one which have got uh, the longest uh, term word or the long term support, LTS. So I think the, the one with the LTS is the Java JDK 17. Uh, you can go for this one and then, so you have to check if you are using Mac OS, but for me, I'm using Windows, so I need this one. I'm using Windows, so if I'm using Windows, just download this one, and then you just run this file. Just run this file, and you'll be clicking next, 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 next. So after installing the Java JDK, I think it's, it's just downloading. So after uh, downloading the Java JDK, what you need is to run. The java jdk is to run the java jdk okay what you have to do is to run it and after running it uh, you install after installing the java jdk you can actually check if your java jdk if actually su uh, successfully installed you can actually check okay I'm trying to, to check just because I have installed it previously. So I do not need to install, uh, to install it now. So what you'll be doing, just clicking next, 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 next. But I'm not going to install it because I've actually installed it uh, before. So what you do now, you can check, say Java C is the Java compiler. You want to check if the Java compiler is actually installed. So you can just say dash dash version. So you see, for me, I've got Java 18, Java compiler 18. So I've got it installed. If there is something, if there is any error saying that this one is not recognized, so what you need to do is to set the environment variables. And it's actually not that much hassle. What you have to do is just to search for environment. Here where it says edit environment, there's this where it says environment variables. So what you need to do, there is the user variables and the system variables. If you want it to be different, as per user, maybe you can put it here, but just put it in the what? Uh, in, the, in the system variables. So what you check here, you check if you, if you have got this path variable. So if you have it, you can just edit this path variable. And then what you do, you have to paste here the, 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 the Java bin the java bin uh file so what you have to do say they just click this edit and then i just click this new and then you paste here what do you paste here you have to go to your files just your files just go to local disk just uh files program files and then look for java and then this jdk into bin so you just copy this link and then you just uh paste it here when you say new you just paste it here and then 
you just click OK and then just click OK, OK. So I'm just saying cancel. Uh, and then after doing that, you can just come here and retest. Everything must be well set. Must be well set. So that's it uh, for setting the Java JTK. And then let's go for downloading the Eclipse. Now we want to install the Eclipse IDE. So what you do for that, uh, it's just you have to come here and then download uh, the Eclipse IDE. You have to just say Eclipse. There is this uh, website. That's where you go. And uh, this one on this website, you can click this download, and then you can now download your Eclipse, uh, which is twenty twenty three uh, zero six. Uh, then after downloading this what you have to do now is to install it so you just click and after that so here just click download so you see that uh, it is saying uh, thank you for download uh, for your download so and here it is actually what downloading and after that what you have to do now is to install the Eclipse IDE so you just run this one just going to say open and done so it actually install this ide but there's one thing that you have to choose let me see when it comes up um, so what you need to do here you have to install this one eclipse ide for java developers because if you look at this there are a lot of uh IDE Eclipse ID environments you can do C C plus plus enterprise Java uh, and web but we need this one for Java developers and then here it is actually asked me for the JVM for the Java JDK okay let me just leave it like that and then you click install by clicking this install you'll be installing but I already installed it so I do not need it so that's what you do for this and then after that what you can do now is to create a new project using eclipse so i'm sure it will be on your desktop after installing it will be on your desktop so if i come here on my desktop where is it it's this one okay so that one was the previous version that i've actually deleted Okay, when I was actually preparing for this video. So after install it, you can now start uh, the IDE. And after starting the IDE, then you can click File New. Now you can create your new Java project. After creating this new Java project, you have to give it a name. Remember project name. Let me just say, uh, hello, world. And then from there, what else? Nothing. You can just click uh, next. After clicking this next, what else? Let me just say finish. So I have this. Here is the source file, but I can create a new class here. You can create a new class. Then in your class, you can give it uh, this one inside the uh, this is the folder, and then the package you can leave it as default package, or you can create a new package. Uh, we are going to talk about all these things later, and then the modifier is public because this one and the class name, remember the class name. Low world must be the same as that one and then after that maybe I want to maybe I want this one the main method since this one is the main class we are just also going to talk about this this is just the function that you know from C programming or any other program but this one is now the main where the program starts to execute but we're just going to talk about this later as well so what you do here 
click this finish after clicking this finish you see we've got this uh, package and we've got this one so for you to print the hello world what you have to do now is just you say so it's system uh, dot out dot print uh, let me just say print line and then I'll just say hello world so after that I can just run this is Java application and you see I have got this word hello world so actually we've managed to install the Java JDK setting it up install the Eclipse IDE and then create a new project so in the next video we are just going to see I'm just going to explain more on how Java works from the Java virtual machine to the environment itself how it interacts with the operating system and then after that we start to learn the java program that's where we are going to do our first program that's where we are going to do our variables and then i'll just break the videos as they come i just break them into smaller chapters 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 until we do object oriented programming so if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing to this channel hope one day we do great things together